So you are probably tired of all of these videos like 7 ways to make money online and you make $2,000 per month with no skills, no knowledge, no anything. And like all of these videos are obviously clickbait because if you don't have any skills or any ideas or any anything valuable, you can't make money and especially not make thousands because if it was that easy, everyone would do it. So you are in the right place because in this video I will tell you without any bullshit how you can actually make some side income as a teenager. Because I'm also a teen, I'm 16 years old and uh, I used some of these ways to earn a little bit of side money. You can't get rich this way, but this is a great start because you will learn some skills by doing this. You will learn how to sell and you will just uh, break the ice because you need to break the ice some way and you can't just consume content on YouTube and not do anything, not take any action. So the first thing you can do is real life SMMA. So I'm not the Iman Gadzi guy that will tell you, you will do cold emails, cold messages, cold calls, and you will close a guy for $2,000 per month. That's really hard to do as a beginner, especially if you don't have any testimonials. So the thing that you will do is to actually offer some small things to your local businesses. You probably have your dentist, your barber, your your favorite cafe uh, and stuff like that. You can literally offer them uh, to do a service that they don't have uh, done by someone else already. So let's say your dentist has an IG account, but he's running him himself and he's maybe uh, a guy who's maybe 50 years old and he doesn't know uh, a lot of things about Instagram and it would be beneficial to him if you just used his IG account and posted instead of him and grown the account instead of him. So uh, you can just offer services like this to some of the people you see in real life, like your dentist, your favorite cafe, your favorite pizzeria, your, uh, your like even your school, like there is so many different uh, clients, potential clients for you, uh, when you can charge like 50 bucks per month for some of these services. Like you can literally ask your dentist if he wants you to run his Instagram account for like 20 bucks per month. It's nothing to him. It's pretty much nothing to you, but you have broken the ice. You have sold something to someone. So it's really breaking the ice here because you can't expect to make 2000 a month by just starting out. Because even like if you want to go the career route, you need to finish like over 10 years of school, like uh, you have elementary school, if you, you have high school, you have college, like all of these things before you can get a job. So you can't expect to start a business and uh, be rich immediately. So you definitely need to start somewhere and to just like offer some little services, like uh, ask your, like your mom maybe uh, goes to a permanent makeup artist. You can ask that permanent makeup artist if, sh if she needs to get some reels done for her IG account to grow her account. Like you can charge 50 bucks per month for something like that. So why not just get into the habit of taking action? You will have a lot of benefits from this and you will gain a lot of experience. And also if you are good at the work you provide, they will just spread the word, the nice word about you and you will be able to close more people and raise your prices. So it's just important to start out. Even Iman Gadzi, he didn't start by uh, asking uh, e-com brands to run Facebook ads for them. He didn't do that. He asked his football team to uh, run their Facebook, their YouTube channel, their Instagram, uh, to post uh, pictures and videos there for like 90 pounds a week, which is not too much. So you can definitely start in this way. And I also did this and it's the easiest way to start and to get some results immediately to get motivated even further. So definitely try that. Don't try to message Ecom Brands on Instagram. You will probably fail. But if you try to offer some little services to some local businesses that know you and trust you, you are more likely to succeed, to get like, get going, just get going. Like you don't need to earn a thousand the first month. You can earn like 50, 100 bucks and you will just get going. And that's the most important part here. The second thing you can do on the side is not, not much profitable, but you can still uh, want, if you want to do it, you can do it. So uh, you can find one or two or 10 or a hundred things uh, that you know your friends or other people here at your place would want to buy but they can't buy it because it isn't available on Amazon or in the stores there, in the local stores, but you can find it on AliExpress. So this is like drop shipping, but Shopify drop shipping is a bit oversaturated and it's a bit hard for beginners. But what you, you can do is just like find, let's say uh, I had like, let's say this. 
So this is a mobile phone holder. And let's say you can't find something like this in, a, in Walmart. Let's say you can't find it. Maybe you can, I don't know, but if you, I'm just giving a, a random example. So uh, let's say you find something like this on AliExpress and you know that some people you know would want to have this. So you just order a few of them on AliExpress for dirt cheap, like $1 per product and sell them for like three or four bucks and you will make small profits. But one thing to note is that you will need to do some research and testing because you don't want to get left with like 10 of these products um, not being able to sell them. So it's a bit risky because you can uh, waste some money if you don't sell the products, but you can play, uh, play around. Like uh, you order something for yourself, you really like it. And uh, your friend says, oh my God, I would love to have that. So you just can um, be creative with this. You can see a product on AliExpress that you never saw in real life and you can just order it for dirt cheap and sell still for cheap and earn, make a profit. Like it's not a lot of money, but why not get started? You will still get better at selling, which is one of the most important skills in our lives. Uh, selling isn't just for entrepreneurs. Selling is like when you go on a date with a girl, you are selling yourself because like you want her to get the best impression of you. So you are practically selling yourself there. Like not many people uh, look at it uh, this way, but it's like pretty much selling. So a lot of things in life are just straight up selling. So you better get good at it because why not? The third thing will be interesting to some of you guys, but to some of you guys, it may not be applicable in some places in the world. But uh, for some of you, if you are living in a country like I do, it can be applicable. So uh, what you can do if you have a credit card, debit card, whatever, if you have like a Visa or a MasterCard or whatever, and you can uh, pay online with the card, and you are like maybe 16 years old, 17, 18, 19, like I'm 16, for example, right now, uh, what you can do is you, you maybe uh, have a younger brother, younger sister or whatever. You maybe have some younger friends who don't have a card and they are maybe playing video games or want to uh, get something bought online. Like they want to buy something in a video game or they want to buy something uh, on the internet and they don't want to ask their parents to do it for them. Because for most of us um, children, it's like, uh, it's pretty embarrassing to ask our parents to buy something in a video game because even we deep down know it's stupid. So uh, what you can do is to uh, find kids or people who need something bought on the internet and they don't have a card that can pay on the online. And uh, you can just buy the stuff for them and take a little fee. So that's how one guy succeeded uh, in my country, Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, the guy just started out with an IG account and the way you pay him is you go on a, in a little shop, you buy like, uh, it's like uh, a little, it's like uh, a gift card or something that can be bought in every single store, but it's not a Google Play gift card. They, uh, these don't work in Bosnia and Herzegovina right now, but it's like a gift card or something and it can be redeemed. So you buy a gift card, you send him the code, he buys you the thing in the video game, and he redeems the code for himself and he takes a little profit. So that's how he earned a lot of money because he scaled. He has like maybe 10, 20,000 followers on Instagram. And when I bought from him the first time, I didn't have a credit card. So it's a legit business model. You can literally earn money by buying other people things on the internet with your card because they don't have a card. And they can pay you like uh, by buying you credit for your phone number or buying you the the gift card like this or meeting you in real life and giving you money like there is many ways that you can do it that you can do this but in general it's a legit way in some countries in some countries maybe it is a bit uh, hard if there is too many people in the city or whatever but i live in a pretty, pretty small city and everyone knows everyone here so it's hard to get scammed so it's really a, a legit business model especially here when, where i'm living so you can try it out if you think it can work if you think it can't you don't need to try it out. But honestly, the first business model I told you is the best you can do because you will gain the most experience, you can earn the most money. And in general, it's the most uh, worth it business model to try because these two second ones are, can be interesting, but you can't get rich and you won't get a ton of knowledge from that. But from the first one, you can actually get rich and you will gain a lot of knowledge and experience. So. I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, you can leave a comment below and tell you what do you think about all of this. You can leave a like if you want, like I won't force you to do it. And yeah, guys, uh, on this channel, I will provide a lot of videos similar to this, where I will share my own experience with you guys. So if you'd want to see more of that, 
just subscribe and yeah it will be really helpful because technically youtube is also a business model that i'm currently using to try to earn some money but like still uh all of these i told you are in real life and you can get results as soon as like tomorrow or in seven days or whatever like aliexpress uh, delivery is like two months but uh, the first business model you can literally after watching this video go outside enter 10 different businesses and ask them if they want to get something done and you need to make a good offer you can't just like go without thinking anything you need to make a good offer you you can learn about offers by reading the book 100 million dollar offers by alex hormozy but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video see you in the next one